uh, generalized conditioned punisher, right? Um, so first off, it's a punisher that isn't um, unconditioned. It's conditioned, hence the term conditioned. It's generalized, meaning it, it does all sorts of things. It punishes all sorts of responses and behaviors, um, meaning it, so it, so it doesn't, it's not just associated with one particular skill. And how does it, how does it all work? Well, you know, probably the easiest one is this. No, stop. Um, that's my favorite one, shaking your finger, not fapping, shaping your finger. Um, I'll give you a moment to go over to, oh, what's that, um, Urban Dictionary and look that up. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so yes, shaking your finger um, is probably a conditioned punisher. Why? Because just shaking your finger like this doesn't do anything to reduce someone's behavior, right? Naturally, they have to learn, they have to associate that with maybe something like this, boom, and then shake your, or shake your finger and then punch them. Not that you should be punching children, but it's an idea. So you shake your finger and punch and shake your finger, punch and shake your finger, punch. And then the next thing you know, all you have to do is shake your finger and then the behavior is going to reduce. And I'll bet at that point, it would even generalize and you could do it to all sorts of behaviors. So generalized condition punisher, it's a stimulus that reduces a response um, that had to be learned.